multiple Russian soldiers dead, wounded in military site shooting near Ukraine. A shooting at a military deployment site in southwestern Russia's Belgorod region near the border with Ukraine has left a number of Russian soldiers dead and wounded, media reported. Baza, a telegram news channel believed to have links to Russia's security services, said a manhunt was underway for a serviceman armed with a Kalashnikov automatic rifle and 70 rounds of ammunition. Baza did not say how many people were killed. Baza later said two soldiers were killed and one wounded after the shooting. The outlet posted a blurred photograph of a man claimed to be the shooter, identified as 29-year-old Alexei, from the Republic of Shuvashia in central Russia. His last name was not provided. The weapon and ammunition he was thought to have taken near the military site where the shooting took place, Baza added. The Belgorod region has been frequently targeted by Ukrainian attacks since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in early 2022. Regional authorities who have not commented on the reported shooting say more than 250 people have been killed in cross-border shelling and drone strikes. Violent crime committed in the occupied territories of Ukraine by Russian soldiers against their own comrades has skyrocketed. In 2023 alone, 190 cases went to trial, though the actual number of incidents is likely much higher. Analyzing court data, Novaya Gazeta Europe estimates that between January and October 2023, at least 135 Russian soldiers were tried for murder in Russian-occupied Ukraine, more than the total number of murders committed by veterans across all of the Russian regions combined. This is a minimum estimate, as the garrison courts of partially occupied Kherson and Zaporizhia regions do not publish their case files online. Despite the Russian authorities considering the civilian population in occupied Ukraine to be Russian citizens, whether or not they have in fact applied for the status, as crimes against local residents are in fact often crimes against Ukrainian citizens, they should be recognized as war crimes, lawyer Sergei Golubok says, meaning that such cases should be heard by the International Criminal Court. A plane belonging to the Polish Air Force crashed in Poland on Friday, local media reported. During a training flight, the Italian-made 346 Bielik aircraft lost control and caught fire after hitting the runway in Gdynia Airport. Currently, the rescue operation is underway, as noted in the official statement of the Polish Army Command. One pilot was in the cockpit of the fighter at the time of the incident. According to some reports, the pilot managed to escape the plane by ejection. However, a representative of the Gdynia Kosakowo Airport said that there was currently no confirmed information about the fate of the pilot. There have also been no reports about any other victims. Videos of the crash have been posted to X social media platform. The plane crash in Gdynia occurred on the eve of the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the creation of the Naval Aviation Brigade. The plane was making a training flight ahead of the airshow scheduled for July 13. Вот от Хаммерса привелет. Поляну выкосила. Выжгла все полностью. Вот тут пацаны погибли. Наши. Смотри, вот кучность какая, смотри. Смотри, пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам-пам наложила. Вот два харма. Харма. Пролетела и глубина метра. Ты метра три, наверное, глубина, короче, вот так не видно. Вот УАЗик, короче, который был. Вот осколки. Его. Вот что с ним стало. Пацанов, вывезли БМП, увезли. Вот здесь деревья кругом были. 
пустая поля, он пеньки срезала все деревья.